Hey guys, my name is Simi Dele Awa and welcome to Dear Young Christian. Why does God say no? I have found that one of the reasons why God says no is because our motives are all jacked up. We have to start checking our motives before we can go to God. Human beings look out the outside, but God looks at the heart. Before he grants you that request that you have made to him, he's going to be like, why? In the Bible, there are two great commandments. I call it two and a half, but the Bible calls it two. The first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you're loving the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Number two, we have to make sure that we're loving our neighbor just as much as we love ourselves. If anything that we ask for goes against those two commands, we're probably not going to get it. Our motives are all wrong. So, if what you're asking for shows that you clearly don't love God, it's not going to happen. If what you're asking for shows that you have selfish ambition and you're not loving your neighbor, it's not gonna happen. If what you're asking for is literally like self-destructive, it's not going to happen because God cannot go against his own word. We have to ask God for things that align with his word. And, and if our motives are not in the right place, God cannot grant us our request. Another thing I wanna add is that many times we only ask God for things that are going to Bless us, we ask him for things that are going to take us to the next level and advance us. But how many times do we actually sit down to ask God for things that are actually going to discipline us and check us? How many times do we ask God, like, hey God, can you mold me into the person that I need to be in order to serve you even if it hurts? Hey God, can you build my character? Hey God, can you help me not be so judgmental? Hey God, can you help me not to be so jealous of that person? I know it's in my heart and I know my heart's really jacked up and my motives are really wrong, but hey God, can you please help me change my heart, renew my mind so I am no longer having those thoughts of lust and I'm no longer having those thoughts of pride and jealousy. How many times do we ask God for things that are actually going to develop our character and not just for things that are going to make us richer or enhance our status in life or give us more clout? God cannot bless mess. And if, if we want to hear God say yes, we need to make sure our motives are right. And if our motives are not right, we need to ask God to check us and be like, hey, hey God, I know I, know I really want this new job because I just want to say that I have a really nice job at Apple. Um, but if you could just check my heart right now and help me to develop a heart that is not so worried about what other people think about me, I really appreciate that. That's the kind of prayers that we need to be praying because those prayers show that we are actually concerned about our spiritual growth and our spiritual health. All right, guys, that is all for today. I hope you all have an amazing day. And remember, it's very possible to be safe and successful. Have a good one. Bye.